Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Peace be upon you, and which is kindly words today, which to give is your family also. The brother and sister of Islam welcome everyone to the Ramadan month. If anyone is coming this month with fully supplied by Allah's mercy and will leave this month with Allah's forgiveness, inshallah. Today, for remind our brother and sister of Islam about the version of fasting in Ramadan and also Ramadan is the month of the Quran that the Anfurqan the other name of Anfurqan is the other name of the Quran also reveal and complete to the Prophet Muhammad in this month also what is exactly means of Anfurqan is meanings the criterions or the standard when the Anfurqan send out upon this world is will be the white goodness and vastness and those will be not mixed together. Black is black, white is white. Shall not have anything between gray color tone for make as doubtful on it. This will split between in the strings case and clear case out from something which you are concerned and clear to make your judgments for something. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he gave the honors for this month with often reciting Quran and repeat reciting the Quran for great remember. Also the great deed for Muslims during this month is also fasting. Some Muslim does not understand about why we have to make fasting in months. Did anyone has been concerned and considers ourselves daily planning? Did anyone do it? Who are the most right on us? And also makes any question to why do we keep fasting for? The question is a lot a loss if you don't know about something is well on that. This is our Islamic life by Allah. So today we would learn a word who is the owner of our life. So each of time of the Tarawiyah we will approach with some words from the Quran to earn the, our iman and learn any kind of knowledge and make sure we will have no lies and always being strong purpose this might be someone's open question of our doubtful mind so today i would like to propose some little matter words from the quran to make us understanding what are we and what is the right of allah to command us this word is taken from the Quran, the Surah at tawbah the chapter number 9, the word is 111. Allah said, Surely, Allah has brought of the believers their persons and their property for these, that they shall have the gardens, they fight in Allah's way, so they slay and are and are slain. A promise which is binding on him in the Torah and the Injil and the Quran, and who is more faithful to his covenants than Allah. Rejoice therefore in the place which you have made, and that is the mighty achievement. MashaAllah. When this word was revealed to the Muhammad, the Prophet, our beloved Prophet, he starts crying. A lot, a lot, a lot crying. And make himself realize on his thinking is about like a people of the world who is on all of us here now. So, this was from the Quran is already told us direct meaning by itself on clear. Allah ever bore us. He ever ever bore us. He gave us life and also good healthy to us, also giving us provisions, all provisions in the world, so anything happens to us is directly related with your full thing around us, even about it cannot be seen by the our side. It has ever been only by him and he gives those for buying us and firm us is about we has been being his left in this life. Everyone and every right here in death on him for our remain in his kingdom much much be that very very much be that 
and never have a chance to repay for all of it. And your death cannot be possible to be a callous case of your knees have no limited ease of life, no one said, yes, I am enough for now, it's no more, I don't need it. No, the human being, they all needing more and more and more each of the day. So you only need each of the day. Also in his words, mean itself, for telling us is about whom he bored, he bought only believers. So that's mean for the other ones who not in the sense of believers, he does not want them. So his word also direct about bored also mean is exchange with what he wants intend with it. That's what we call buying in this world. And so who is the other group doors he does not want it? Of course, of the simple understanding in the stubble people is the unbeliever, they always doubt in everything and defames Allah in many ways. Those people is called unbelievers. Only right now for all believers will be the rights of Allah to keep them on his side. He will keep both of you on his side if you are unbeliever. It will be on his left forever under the shade of his mercy, inshallah. Our duties must be under his commandments at a slave actions and it cannot be denied or again his word and held on what he's aiming for. So he have all the rights among of a Muslim, even he would like to destroy some heart of us with their great sorrow or keep some hearts for be with the happiness. Even the happiness lies of this world, but reward are awaiting us out there in the heavens. So, what are his commandments will direct to us. And we cannot avoid by some few what he asked for in daily day. It's perfect. It's perfect with his instance right stuff. And until like we meet our Lord, when the doom day is soon will over or not. His command us for have a long night nice praying, the hajjud, and he also command us for have long fasting in daytime under the strong control and emotion and under a discipline and his conditions for make us be a perfect Muslim, a perfect Muslim and becoming to be mu'min in the high level priority of the believers. This group will have the base successful reward in the gardens of the paradise heavens. My beloved brother, all Muslim, all brother sister of Islam, you must know now you are under his great power, great, great, great and really, really great powers. And you are so weak. Even a little thing of the single system things you still cannot control is except him as Allah. Allah is the one who controlled everything. And what will be uh, happening to the group of uh, unbelievers who had denied in one Lord by themselves? We call it uh, this word in kafir or disbeliever or is unbelievers. This word is referred to a person who rejects in one God, who is harmed and denies, also includes some special betray of of this unreliable as what we call hypocrite is true. Hypocrites also include in the sense of the uh, people who are unbelief. The people of the hypocrite behavior is also mentioned in the Surah Baqarah. In any chapters, also is many of them for in the Quran, Allah tried to tell us about beware of them. Where are they will belong, which place? He will put them all in great hall fight. The hall has ever been created and is prepared for many long times and years ago. Put all of them into it. And hall fight has only burning heat and the great hot winds only in there. There's no water. No shadows, no stop in any turtles. It's of them will get an equal what they are for themselves on this world for their are being ignorance. This is a place to put all of them as like a garbage dumped in the great fire burning machines. They are not different from all fish and all vegetables in the market become to be the rubbish has been wrought. When has no one been buying all of them? No one needs them, no one needs their doors first, they will throw it away in the bin. So, this will return to the in the bin only. 
so it's nothing much to do with it again. Case of the new product will be in the market soon as next day, and Allah have right to create any and we created any also better than the old thing if he willing will to do. Also mentioned on his worth in the Quran, Allah said, But if ye cannot, and of surely ye cannot, and then fear the fire, who formed is man and the stone, which is prepared for those who reject his face. When I was reading this word from the Quran, my skin has, has to creep along with my body skin, and also has been apprehensive over my mind by these words. He used a man and a stone of rock, being a fuel of whole fire. MashaAllah, it's nothing is can be possible to be, to be the fuel and half fire. It's just a man and stones. It has no doubt on his power. Allah also know where to put whom he want him to be in where. The heaven gates are open is for believers. The heaven gates are open for believers. The heaven gates are open for believers. The hall fire gates are open is for unbelievers only. Therefore, in the dunya, all of them, if it had many chances before the doom days, take them put in the gate of fire pits. And those two types of gates, after the last person will get in, they will be closed itself forever. Beware that us, O my sister and brother. And Allah will reward with all the great reward for his believer in the heavens. And he will punish them with the greatest punishment, case of there are criminals of Allah disobey Allah and leave their world with ungratefulness life before. It's enough, and it is enough literally Asian is forever to them. Today we all are here, shall knowing this thing, we have not right to own ourselves, and using the our body parts on our vain desire leads us with the unruliness of us if anyone would love to own himself please in the morning you may not using the eyes to make us your wake up not using his air from your from your breathing system it's no food no ring no get anything is from him so that you will call while you know that him but it's not it's impossible about every single cell and every second if you do that please just let yourself sleep and die forever Better than just waking up is with it's your ungratefulness to Allah. All men in the world walking in his kingdom without thankfulness. And may Allah open it our hearts again for make this month being your beginning is news day and we start again with our Islamic life only. Just Islamic life only will bring us to survive from five pits. And please do remember it as well. The date always drawn near you in every second the date will not do for giving you a chance for getting your life back again. Never, never, never go is back. We die just one last time only. Do better than today in Ramadan. Seek his forgiveness by your sincere voice in your grief war, in your grief grievers harsh grief. Keep on doing repentance by yourself. Even Hebrew always have a chance to be back to his life again. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi lajun. Verily, our life belongs to Allah. Dear my brother and sister, today I hope you will get some clue of your life. So now you know who own 